Hey guys, Tyler Wood from Coldwell Banker up here in Big Bear Lake, California. So uh, today I wanted to talk about the disclosures on a property. Um, whenever a seller uh, sells a residential property in California, uh, they have to uh, fill out what are called disclosure paperwork. And that is uh, paperwork, uh, you know, lots of different documents regarding the property, questions regarding the property uh, that need to be answered that um, the seller needs to answer for the buyer to review. So, um, and there's some that are statutorily required, like a TDS, a transfer disclosure statement, um, SPQ, the seller property questionnaire, lots of questions, lots of uh, important information about the house that the seller knows that they want to let the buyer know or make the buyer aware. And as a seller, you're supposed to disclose anything that uh, you know about the property, especially anything that materially affects the value of the property. So um, some of the things I'm seeing come up with that as a buyer is, you know, many times the buyers don't see those disclosures until they've already made an offer and already have an agreement on the property, which to me is the wrong way of going about it. If you're a buyer and you're interested in a property, to me, you want to get those disclosures before you write the offer. Okay, you want to know what's up with the property, the little hidden secrets about the property that, that you don't know about until you see those disclosures before you write the offer. And I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, it's not done that way. The buyer writes the offer, the seller counters, and they come to an agreement, and then all of a sudden the buyer gets the disclosures, and they find out, oh, I didn't know it was on septic, or oh, I didn't know that there's a creek that runs underneath it. Oh, I didn't know that there's an airport nearby. I didn't know that this wasn't permitted. And then, you know, the deal doesn't go anywhere. It cancels, and there's just a bunch of wasted time. So I guess the point is, is if you're a buyer, read those disclosures before you make the offer, or do it when you make the offer, and present them with your offer. That's the time to do it. That's the time to know for sure you want to buy the house, and that you're aware of everything. Obviously, you're still going to do inspections and that kind of stuff after you make the offer, but the disclosures should be read um, prior to making the offer, in my opinion. So, that's my take on it. If you have any questions, it's Tyler at thetimwoodgroup.com, and thanks for listening.